All right, so it looks like once again, we're going to be talking about this because uh, I guess you could say a copycat situation has happened with Neon because if you guys aren't aware, yesterday we talked about, uh, what's his name? I forget his name. I mean, you can't blame me for forgetting their names because it seems like every other fucking day this is happening to a new kick streamer. Like it's insane. But anyways, I'm not really too sure if I would ever go traveling the world, but if I ever did, I would one, make sure before I leave and go to a different country, I know their laws so I can abide by their laws. So I don't get arrested. Now, two, when I get there, I will treat everyone there with the utmost respect because I'm really not trying to have issues with people in different countries like or other people's uh, governments. Like, it's just something I'm not trying to do because, you know, things are different in different countries. And if you get arrested in a different country, it's going to really suck trying to get out of there. Because if you're not a citizen of that country, you probably don't have rights there. And that really is going to suck with the way that you're treated there if you're arrested. Now, the reason why I'm making this video when I told my Myself, I wasn't going to make it when I was recording it last week. I was recording it a day after Johnny Somali got arrested in Israel, but it looks like there have been some updates to the situation. So I figured, hey, I'm going to continue this video and I'm going to get it out for you guys because apparently there has been a situation for the past week that has been going down with Neon and his girlfriend. And apparently they are allegedly arrested. And the reason why they allegedly got arrested because there's no confirmation that they did get arrested, except for what some people are saying on social media. Media. And I'm not really educated on the laws that they have there in Dubai because I don't live there, of course. But essentially, Neon was doing his Dubai stream. They were out in public. His girlfriend, Sam, was there too. And yeah, essentially, they were confronted by officials on the street and they were told that they can't film and it's a violation of the law, whatever. And for whatever reason, they decided to keep filming as they were being told repeatedly that they can't do that and they need to turn off the camera. Just take a look. So I understand that um, it's not official, right? Are you going to jail? Are we going to jail? Bro. Where are we going? To the office, they said. Bro. But we went to guest services. That's where... Okay, guest services is where we got permission, ma'am. I want to let you know. So anyone who could clear this up is going to be in guest services as well. A passport? And they said you would send it to the WhatsApp group chat. Close it or not close it? Close, close, close. Close it. Put it down, just put it down, bro. Put it down. What are you doing, bro? Now, while that video was playing, I decided to do a little bit of research on the filming rules and the regulations that they have for Dubai. And apparently, it turns out you need a film permit to film in Dubai. Like, it's not like how it is in the US where you can film on public property and you can film whatever you can see from public property. No, it's actually a little bit different. And let me just clarify a little bit here. What Neon is doing with his IRL streaming and the amount of viewers that he has, it's not like he's just like any random person going outside starting like an Instagram live or something like that having like five viewers on there just watching maybe the family's watching or something like it's not like that and regardless of that even if you're doing like a huge production thing or your IRL streaming or if you're just simply taking a video for personal uses as far as I'm aware you need consent from whoever you're filming now once again I'm not a lawyer so I might have messed that up a little bit I might have not who knows but it's different compared to the US and I know that and when you have this huge operation going out with your IRL streaming and many people watching, I think the laws in Dubai are a little uh, outdated when it comes down to IRL streaming. But I personally would call that in a way like a production in which in this case, you're putting on a show to many people watching. They send you money, you make money, and it's being broadcasted onto the internet. And I'm not really sure if Neon or his team did the research before they went there, which is highly recommended to do, by the way. But just to be safe, I probably would have got that film permit. And I also would have read up on the things you're allowed to record and the things you're not allowed to and where you're allowed to record and where you're not allowed to because apparently you're not allowed to record at an airport either. That's apparently against the law in the UAE. And also, man, it's like if I'm in a different country and the authorities tell me to stop recording or recording them or whatever and to shut it off, you can bet your ass in a country where I don't have rights because I'm not a citizen, I will be turning off that camera so I don't have issues. I will be doing things to make sure I do not have issues in a country where I literally, like quite frankly, cannot defend my 
myself because like I said, I wouldn't have rights there. But no, like you guys saw in the video, they didn't turn it off. They just continued to leave it on live streaming and recording. And yeah, it's pretty pathetic. And I mean, people on Twitter and some people who have made videos about the situation on YouTube have claimed that apparently Neon got arrested for this. And when it comes down to him being arrested, I didn't see any clip showing that he actually got arrested. But I mean, when it comes down to it, recording in public and like recording people without their consent, especially when it comes down to recording the authorities, like you saw the authorities on that live stream, they definitely did not consent. When it comes down to recording the authorities without consent, you already know that they're going to want to hit you with the book. And I'm not exactly sure if they did that or not, but just take a look at this article right here from a news source in Dubai that is titled, Recording a video with someone without their consent can land you serious charges. And they say residents in the UAE should note that recording any video in public of someone else without their consent is extremely illegal. And this is coming from a source that is located in Dubai. Gulf News reported that this law is found within Article 378 of Federal Law Number 3 of 1987 of the Penal Code, which was amended in 2005 and says, A punishment of confinement and fine shall be inflicted on any person who attacks the sanity of individuals' private or family life by committing any of the following acts in other than the legally permitted cases or without the victim's consent. And they go on to say, And this applies to activities like eavesdropping, recording, or transmitting any kind of information regarding the other party. Bro, when Johnny Somali gets out of the Israel prison, or wherever he is right now, send him to Dubai and have him do what he was doing in Japan in Dubai. Watch him get an easy 25 to life in prison. I swear. Make him do it. I would love that. These activities can land you in jail for a minimum of six months with a fine between AED 150,000 and AED 500,000. That's their currency. And 150,000 of their currency is almost 41,000 US dollars. And 500,000 is 136,000 dollars USD. Like that's insane. Just for recording people without their consent, by the way. That's what this source is telling us. And this once again is a source that is located in Dubai. So yeah, it really wouldn't surprise me if Neon and all those people who were associating with him at that time and who were around him really wouldn't be surprised if they all got arrested, let alone that they're foreigners. So I feel like it would be worse because it's not like they're citizens. But when it comes down to all the information that is being showed in this video from these sources, please, somebody who is located in Dubai, if you see this video, or if you're in the UAE and you saw me report something wrong from these sources, feel free to correct me down below. Now, this was about a week ago when people were claiming that Neon got arrested and there really wasn't proof that he did get arrested, like video proof from the live stream or anything like that. So I kind of held off from making the video last week. And as of recently, and the reason why I wanted to cover it again is because apparently news is coming out that Neon in fact got arrested and he was sentenced to one year in prison in Dubai. This is all for illegally filming, by the way. And I'm not really surprised because other countries have their own laws and uh, you might find this to be really absurd that he potentially got arrested and he got sentenced to prison for one year for illegally filming, not following the rules, recording people without their consent, blah, 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 you get it. But that's just how things go for their country and that's just what they have set up. And because of that, like I said, when you go to a foreign country, always do this research and make sure you're following all the laws and make sure you're always aware of like all this stuff or else they're going to lock you up and then that sucks. And once again, by the way, he allegedly got arrested and allegedly got sentenced to one year in prison. Now, after this information started coming out on Twitter, Aiden actually talked about the situation on his stream and he said he's trying to do everything that he can to try and get Neon freed. He said that all while he was gambling, by the way. I'm doing everything that I can do to try to help, but people around him made it really hard because there's clips like, I'm not gonna say specifically who, but you guys can put two and two together. Someone around him mocked them pretty bad to where it's, it's like they fucked it up. I'm not gonna lie. Based off what they said. The only thing I'll say is, it's sticky, bro. It's a very sticky situation. And I don't think anyone... How do I say this, bro? Because I don't want to get in the way. Because I see people, my, my crew talking about it. And um, it's not a script, bro. It's real life. It's, it's just hard right now. And people got to stop talking about it. I can't... I'm not going to speak on shit because I don't make things worse. 
But um, pray for Neon, man. He needs some prayers. That's all. I don't know. Overall, when it comes down to it, there's been no proof that Neon has actually been like put away or that he was even arrested. And I'm going to bring this up and I know it's not going to be like the last time I say it. Neon fakes a lot of what he does for his content. I mean, this guy quite frankly blew up off of faking his death and that's how he has a career today. So I really wouldn't be surprised if they're doing this for attention. But also at the same time, I really wouldn't be surprised if he did get arrested because like that article said, it's extremely illegal to be filming other people in Dubai without their consent. And did this point i don't know if this is true or not really wouldn't be surprised if it's fake though now while editing this video i realized something because i was going around twitter and i went to neon's community on twitter i also went to neon's twitter page he doesn't really tweet a lot but he hasn't tweeted in like the past week so i did find that a little bit fishy and oh maybe he actually did get arrested but at the same time if you think deeper into this i know i did say that like you know because this whole group neon sam frank and the other people who they had there including the cameraman you would assume that they would all get arrested for being associated with each other and somebody who's filming and potentially breaking the law. So therefore, all of them would not be active on social media because, you know, they got arrested and detained. But as I was going around Twitter and I looked through Neon's community on Twitter, I saw a tweet from Sam Frank that says this, I cannot speak on anything, but when I can, you guys will be the first to know. Now, the reason why this is big is because the only person who was engaging in the filming and holding the camera and not turning off the camera when they were told to turn it off was the person who was recording not sam frank or neon so therefore neon was not recording so why would he get in trouble with the law like the only way i see neon getting in trouble here and getting arrested and being thrown in prison for a year for illegally recording when he wasn't would probably be because the authorities just decide to throw them all in there because they were all like associating with each other when one person was holding a camera and recording people without their consent which is a very illegal thing there apparently so yeah with that fact being known really would not be surprised if this is fake. Now, I'm not saying that Neon or Sam Frank are the people who made this up in order to get attention. Really wouldn't be surprised if they did, but the only people at this moment saying that Neon was arrested and thrown in prison are Aiden Ross, those accounts on Twitter that report, I guess, news for the streamers and other YouTubers on YouTube, including myself. Because, <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing this title is going to be like, uh, Neon got arrested or something in Dubai just for the clickbait for the lols, because why not? But, yeah, no, really wouldn't be surprised if this is fake. Neon has a history of fake things for content including his own death several times and we've talked about instances like that on the channel here so I really would not be surprised if he was not locked up and they were using this for attention essentially. Now anyways I guess with that all being said I'm going to wrap up the video right there because there's not really much else to talk about. Once again I'm gonna mention that I have not seen any proof of Neon actually being arrested. The only thing I've heard is Aiden Ross say oh I'm trying to help him out the best I can or whatever and drama accounts on Twitter claiming that he's been arrested and thrown in prison for one year. But anyways, I just figured I would say this too. I'm going to be really sad if this information is not true. And I think a lot of other people are going to be sad too. But anyways, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because it helps promote the video more in the algorithm so more people will see it. Thank you guys so much for being a member to the channel. Your support really means the world to me and I really do appreciate it. My name is Brion, hoping this information is correct about Neon getting arrested in Dubai. And I will see you in my next video. Peace. Thank you.